The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. So for number one, we're going to evaluate uh, the arctan of negative square root of 3. So when you're evaluating an inverse trig function, you want to think about a couple of different things in that your answer has to be in a particular range uh, depending on the function. So for arctan and arc sine, the answer to this has to be between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. In other words, it can only be an angle in quadrants 1 or 4. For our cosine, it would have to be in quadrants 1 or 2, so from 0 to pi. So right away, that actually gets rid of a couple of um, answers here. C and D both are values that are higher than a pi over 2, 2 thirds pi and 5 6 pi. Those definitely can't be answers. So we know this has to be in the interval negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And those should be brackets there. So now let's figure out which one it is. So what the other way you can think about this is saying tangent of what angle is equal to negative root 3. This is an equivalent equation as long as you recognize that the answer to this has to be in this range. So first you want to think what reference angle of tangent gives you angles of square root of 3. Remember that tangent is sine over cosine, so we want our sine to be root 3 over 2 and our cosine to be 1 over 2, so that happens at the angles pi over 3. But it's negative, so the tangent, if you can only be in the first or fourth quadrants, think about where is tangent negative. Well, it's definitely negative in the fourth quadrant, so we have pi over 3, but in the fourth quadrant. So if you want to draw that out here, pi over 3 is, you know, somewhere there. But this angle right here gives you the same tangent as in the fourth quadrant. That's negative pi over 3. So remember that for... An inverse trig function, you need to recognize that the ranges of it are very specific values. And always just use the reference angle and then choose the correct quadrant. The only thing that you need to be careful of is that when you're dealing with arctan and arc sine, uh, the fourth quadrant is the negative values of the angles. And a lot of other problems when you do the unit circle, the fourth quadrant is 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi. Uh, for these arc functions, you just consider them negative so that you can have your interval as one thing. Because if you think about it, if you wanted to write the first and fourth quadrants, but you had to start at zero, you'd have to break it up. Zero to pi over two and three pi over two to two pi. This allows you to write it just as one interval. So in this case, we knew it had to be fourth quadrant, so it's just the negative of our referencing. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu